Yes, absolutely. People are, in fact, are looking into uh, uh, seeing this ceasefire extended into more than just four days. They're looking more into uh, a few more days just to uh, give them an opportunity uh, to deal with the sheer amount of destruction of their life as, as they know it. Uh, in fact, uh, a lot of people here in the southern part, particularly evacuees, when we uh, talk to them about the, their reaction to the ceasefire, how they feel about it, uh, uh, they're, 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 there was a pattern among all the, the conversation that we had, that people think this deal is not a win because they were, in fact, looking for more, more of a permanent uh, a ceasefire. It, uh, people are taking this uh, 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 opportunity to, uh, of the ceasefire to, to resupply, to get their basic necessities, uh, and to provide for, the, their, to provide for their families uh, uh, of, of what they need of, of basic supplies of food and, uh, and, and, and water. It's also an opportunity for the vast majority who are are still surrounded uh, by destruction, blood, and, and, and dead bodies of relatives and, and family members to grieve properly and, and to pay the respect and offer uh, the, uh, the proper funeral procession for those who are still uh, for those who are still uh, uh, trapped under under the rubble. There is a, 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 a unanimous agreement among people that as long as people who evacuated to the southern part are unable to go to the northern part of Gaza to see their homes, to embrace their, their relatives and loved ones. Uh, they look at it as an incomplete and unfair uh, ceasefire. What they are hoping, if, if this ceasefire gets extended, and there are already talks about this between uh, uh, Israel and, and, and Hamas, about extending the possibility of ceasefire in exchange of the 10 hostages every day, uh, in exchange of releasing 10 captives or hostages, uh, every day there will be uh, a cease, uh, this ceasefire will be uh, extended. But there are actually uh, the four days, today is the fourth day of the ceasefire, just an hour into the fourth day of the ceasefire, there are new shocking details uh, coming from Gaza since the beginning of the bombing. We're talking about in terms of new totals. Uh, 15,000 have been killed, 38,000 have been injured, and we're looking at a, a shocking number of missing people, 7,000 unaccounted uh, uh, for uh, most to presume uh, dead and buried under collapsed building. There's also a warning coming from uh, the WHO and those who are in the medical field. The, the smell of decomposed uh, bodies in the northern part of Gaza city is everywhere and a threatening of the spread of infectious uh, diseases which which uh, 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 confirmed is, is the, the idea that we need more uh, extension more okay. days of this ceasefire so people can deal with these uh, these problems as a result of the ongoing bombing and honey just briefly in terms of the ceasefire deal what's the latest on those aid trucks coming into gaza then Yes, well, so far, aid, humanitarian aid have been uh, delivered to... Based on a statement from the United Nations official, people are hungry in the northern part of Gaza. There is an imminent starvation. The, the WHO uh, warned of, of the spread of infectious disease because of lack of medical supplies and spread of illness. So we need a, a continuous line uh, to, to help people survive the catastrophe of, of the, uh, the mass bombardment of the Gaza Strip. Make sure to subscribe to a channel to the latest news from RDZ World News.